is the full system with the swirl filter installed. I have added more plants here. We've got head lettuce, romaine. This romaine plant looked like this romaine plant a few days ago, so I expect this one to explode like this one has. And leaves taste very good. This is uh, butternut lettuce. Then we have celery. And of course my chives. Uh, this is cabbage right here. This little guy right here, um, I believe is a green pepper plant, or green bell pepper plant I planted last season that I thought never really did anything, but there it is again, I guess. We'll figure that one out. Got my broccoli. Back here, I've got my bok choy. I uh, used a, a gutter from a gentleman that I met uh, at, at the Home Depot, or actually the Lowe's, and he wondered about my swirl filter and what in the world kind of contraption that was. So I painted it green and I uh, put on NC Rockwaponics on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... But there it is. I decided to paint it in gold. And on the back side, I have uh, my family name on the back side, just because. So water gets pumped up from the fish tank. Uh, there's the hose all the way up down the trough. Let's see if I can get a shot down the trough here. down here into here this I'm hoping will be enough of a curl to make the water swirl now theory is solids fall to the bottom fish poop whatever I'm able to extract it from here by this ball valve and then the clean water which should be floating on which should be on the top should file into here down here back into my grow bed. I don't know exactly how uh, you know how long the the entire system cycles and then you know waited for that and just kind of been playing around with it. Unfortunate side effect of being the hose being that long is my poor fountain um, bubbler doesn't really bubble the water as much as it should so we'll have to figure something out probably have to buy a bigger pump more more powerful pump we'll go outside to the garden or i'll unlock the door first hoop house is up the square box here for my uh, vining vegetables uh tomatoes i'll show you those in a moment so I've got my carrots there, my celery here to the back, right beside those are the uh, broccoli, and then over here are my tomato trees. Uh, my mom tells me these are going to grow five feet tall and have big tomatoes. Here is, well, I should say are, my squash. And you can see here I have planted a row for the hungry. Uh, www.gardenriders.org. Um, you know, you got a row, plant it, go give it to hungry people. Um, got my rosemary going back there. Uh, another chive. My uh, happy Buddha. I love happy Buddhas. And then right here are my potato plants. And when they get done, when they start to flower, I just lift up here and I should be able to harvest potatoes without having to do any digs. Right over here next to my uh, rain barrel, you know, I've got my, um, another tomato. I've got my sweet mint, some strawberries that will go into my, the top, uh, 
or the top of my of my um, aquaponic setup. Got another uh, tomato, a sweet 100s, and then uh, more bok choy, um, starter strawberries, and then a whole lot more lettuce at the top with some carrots here and more bok choy in there. So that's the uh, what I got going right now for this season at the moment. I plan on planting a whole bunch more within that. Um, we'll try the hoop house out because I know it's going to get cold. One more freezing snap here in uh, April here in North Carolina. That's it. Go ahead, uh, you know, comment down there. Uh, subscribe up there-ish. And then um, thumbs up me. Whatever. <laughs> uh and then I'll post some updates later. I will see you bye.